Hey everyone, welcome back to our video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to top up the refrigerant for your air conditioner. If your AC isn't cooling as well as it used to, low refrigerant might be the problem. Let's get started. First, we need to locate the outdoor unit of your air conditioner. It's usually placed outside the house, either on the ground or mounted on an external wall. In my case, it's up here, so I'm using a ladder to access it. Get to the unit and we'll be dealing with checking the refrigerant in just a moment. I'm going to remove this cover by unscrewing it to access the wiring. This allows us to check the current using a clamp meter to ensure everything is running within limits. Now I'll use a clamp meter to check the amperage of the live wire. According to the label, the rated current for this model is between 3.8 and 3.6 amps. If the current is lower than this range, it could mean that the refrigerant is low and the system isn't operating efficiently. In that case, we'll need to top up the refrigerant, which we'll get to in just a moment. Before you top up the refrigerant, it's essential to check the type of refrigerant your AC unit is using. You can usually find this information on a label located on the outdoor unit. For me, my unit uses R22 refrigerant, so make sure you're using the correct type for your system. Using the wrong refrigerant might cause damage to the AC. With the AC running, slowly open the valve on the refrigerant canister to begin adding gas to the system. Let the refrigerant flow in slowly and steadily while keeping an eye on both the pressure gauge and the clamp meter. As you add refrigerant, open and close the canister valve periodically, constantly checking the drawing current. Once the current reaches the rated amperage, which for my unit is between 3.8 and 3.6 amps, stop adding refrigerant. This ensures the system has enough refrigerant to operate efficiently without overfilling.
Once you've topped up the refrigerant, carefully disconnect the manifold gauge from the low pressure port. Test your AC to make sure it's cooling effectively. And that's it. Your AC should now be working efficiently again. Remember, if you're unsure about any of these steps, or your AC has more serious issues, it's always a good idea to call a professional. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more home maintenance tips.